In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really awesome and really colorful video transition that you can create right inside of Adobe After Effects. So once you've got Adobe After Effects open, we can begin with this effect. And to begin, we're just gonna start by creating a brand new solid. So we'll go layer, new, solid, and we'll change the color of this solid to anything that you like. So in this example, I'm gonna begin with yellow. So we'll change this to yellow and we'll press OK. Now we want to change the anchor point of this solid and the anchor point is this mark in the middle and this is where all of the animation orbits around. So with the anchor point in the middle of this yellow solid, if we rotate this yellow solid, then the solid will evenly rotate around the middle of the canvas. But if we move the anchor point to the very bottom left, which is what we want to do, then it will animate around the bottom left corner. So we'll go into yellow solid one, we'll press this arrow to load up transform. Now we'll go into transform and we'll go down to anchor point. Now change the anchor point to the very bottom left of this yellow solid. And as soon as you're happy with that, if we adjust the rotation, you can see it's done exactly what I mentioned. The yellow solid is now orbiting around that new anchor point. So we're just gonna move this over to the very middle of the canvas. So we're just gonna pull the position over to the left and we'll adjust the position so that the yellow solid is back in the very center of the canvas with the new anchor point. Now we'll pull the rotation all the way up to around negative, let's say around negative 90, and we'll create a brand new keyframe. Now we'll scroll, let's say 20, 20 or so keyframes, and we'll pull the rotation all the way over to around plus 90. So we'll see the yellow solid comes in, and goes out. But we need to go ahead and increase the scale of this because we can see the black background behind the yellow. So we'll just increase the scale and make sure we can't see any black behind the yellow. Now I'll just pull the cursor head through the video. And just at the very end there, we catch the black background in the top right corner. So we're just gonna increase the scale one more time. So we'll increase that to 215. And there we go. That looks really awesome. Now from here, we're gonna select both of the keyframes on the rotation. So we're gonna select both of those and selecting one of these, we're gonna right click. We'll go down to keyframe assistant and we'll select easy ease. So all you have to do to speed up this transition is pull the keyframes closer together or if you want to slow this down, you just pull them apart from each other. So progressing on with this transition, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy that yellow solid. So select the yellow solid, hold command C and command V to copy and paste that. And we're just gonna offset this by a few keyframes. Now we'll go up into the effects and presets in the top right of After Effects and search for tint. We'll drag tint onto the copied yellow solid and we'll map the black to any color we like. So select a color, we're gonna select green and make note of this code down here. Copy this code. We'll press OK, we'll go to map white to, and in that box, we're just gonna paste that code in. And now we've got this really awesome green color. Now from here, we just want to add a little bit of separation between the yellow and the green. We want to make it look like the green is perfectly on top of the yellow. So we're just gonna add a very nice, a very subtle shadow. So in effects and presets, we'll search for drop shadow. We'll drop the drop shadow effect onto the green solid. We'll pull the softness all the way up to around We'll pull it all the way up to around 70%. And there you go. That looks really awesome. It's added a very slight 3D effect to the transition. Now that's essentially the transition complete, but you can keep copying and pasting this layer to add as many colors as you like to this transition. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now once you've copied and pasted this transition layer several times and you've added all of the colors into the effect that you want, we now need to go ahead and apply some motion blur. So we're gonna select all of the layers on the composition and we're gonna select the motion blur box. So we'll select the motion blur box over here and then make sure the motion blur tab on the right is blue. And instantly that's going to slow the computer down because motion blur is more tiring on the computer but if you give your computer a second to render this out, it's going to look really awesome. And there you go. So there's just one more thing to completely finish this transition off. We just wanna pre-comp all of this into its own composition. So select all of those layers one more time. 
we'll right click and we'll press pre-compose. Now you can rename the pre-composition, so I'm going to rename this to transition. And all of those layers have been merged into one layer. So we can just scrub through to the start of this transition and we can just offset this. We can push this over to the right. And if we just add some text layers, you can see that we've got hello, the transition comes in and the text changes behind the transition and that changes to how are you? And of course you don't have to do this to text. You can do this to video clips. You can do this to colored solids. You can do this to anything you fancy. And there you go. That is the really awesome rotating colorful video transition right inside of Adobe After Effects now complete. And there you go. If you enjoyed that, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.